Hi everyone, a few months ago I reviewed this Asus power bank, USB power bank, and one of the problems I had with it was the supplied USB cable. I found that it wasn't charging the device very fast, and it wasn't charging my phone very fast, so I determined that this is a bad cable. But recently someone started commenting on my video saying that they've got the same power bank and they have no problem with their cable. They even went as far as posting a couple of sample videos to show me, and basically they put so much effort into that I thought, okay fine, I will read test maybe I did something on that day wrong and I got it wrong so let's actually retest this now the way I tested this last time was I got a USB power supply so this is a 5 port USB charger and then I used a watt meter which I plugged into my power supply and then I tested the cable between the watt meter and the power bank and then between the power bank and a phone and that's how I measured this cable but I've got a better way to measure it this time a more accurate and fairer way what you'll notice with this USB power bank is it actually has a micro USB input here. Now that's specifically for testing cables. So we can actually connect a dummy load like this on one side of the watt meter instead of a cell phone. And then I can plug my USB cable into my charger and I can plug the other end into my watt meter. Now I'll just make sure that my dummy load set to one amp. Okay, let's plug this in and see what we get. Okay, we are getting nothing. Why is that? Okay, well that's very strange. I plugged in another micro USB cable and this has come on okay. But when I use the one supplied by Asus, it doesn't seem to turn on. So that actually has put this test to bed faster than I imagined. Why is that? What is going on here? Okay, so let's try another test. Let's plug my USB watt meter into the power supply then this ASUS cable into the watt meter and then I'll plug this in to charge a power bank Okay, so it didn't come on at first, I had to wobble the cable around, which makes me think maybe there's a bad connection inside, because now it has come on, it's at 5.15 volts, but it's charging at just 0.2 amp, which is way too slow. For anyone wondering, I did contact Asus about this, and they basically didn't care. They watched my video and said, yeah, that's a cool video, and then when I asked them how about replacing the cable or looking into the problem, they just said, oh yeah, we'll check, we'll check, we'll check lots of emails and basically they never did anything so yeah I've never actually had any support from Asus about this which is why I won't buy another one of their power banks because they don't actually give any customer support so let me just show you the test that I wanted to do here's the good cable from Voxlink I'll plug that into my watt meter which you can see turns on and then I'll plug my dummy load in the other side and you can see 5 volts 0.9 amp if I flick the switch Five or just under 5 volts, 1.74 amp. So a very easy way to quickly test the quality of a cable. We'll plug the watt meter directly into the power supply. Then we'll start with our good cable. So I'll plug that in here. And then I'll plug that into our Voxlink power bank. And you can see that's charging just under 5 volts. 2.77 amp so <laughs> that's pretty high speed let's unplug that and then take our Asus cable plug that in put that into the power bank and we're currently getting nothing let me wiggle the cable around since it seems to be perhaps a loose connection inside the cable No, see now I'm not getting any power transfer at all. I don't understand what's going on with this cable. Let's try again. No, nothing. So this is actually worse than when I first reviewed it because when I first reviewed it, it did actually carry a little bit of power. Now it won't do anything at all. It's literally not even charging now for some reason. Um, let's remove it and try plug a smaller power bank into the end. So I've got this really tiny power bank.
Oh, there you go. When I twist the wire, I manage to get the power bank light to come on. So yeah, I think I got basically just some kind of dodgy cable from Asus. I've got a pair of scissors here, so we might as well just cut this thing open and have a look inside. Look, you can see how tiny the wires are to start with. Let's see if I can tear this open better. Did I cut a wire there? Yeah, I did cut a wire. So what's going on here? Why doesn't this one have any insulation around the wire? What is that? It's just a bare wire. Let's open this up further. It's possible that I ripped off the insulator on this one, but I don't think so because that was deeper inside. We had the white cable on the outside, then the green cable, then this wire. So I don't think I'm the one that ripped off the insulation there. Okay, well I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Basically it's a junk cable. Um, what I will do actually is I'll just quickly cut down this one and see if I did tear off that insulator or if it was already like that inside. Now look, you can see that wire had no insulator around it. So they've just put a bare wire in there, so straight away that's a red flag that something's not right. So yeah, um, this isn't exactly how I expected this retest to go, but it does kind of confirm that the cable that was supplied by Asus with this power bank was junk. Um, so yeah, to the guy who commented, maybe you got lucky or maybe I got unlucky. Uh, we'll never know because Asus won't comment on this. So if you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.